What? Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Life of Barney, Quarantine Edition. I hope everybody's being safe out there. I know these are weird times we're living in. I wanted to share a fun appetizer recipe. It's been in my family for a while. I got this one from my dad. Traditionally, it's done with rainbow trout, sometimes lake trout. And what we do is we smoke it and you cut it up into sections, freeze them, take them out as you need it, and you use it as an appetizer with cheese and crackers. Part of the recipe requires us to marinate it overnight if you can, you know, sometime early evening. So we'll take this out tomorrow in the afternoon. Before I throw the marinade onto the rainbow trout, I want to show you something real quick because this is store-bought. This was not caught myself and deboned myself or with my dad, whatever the case. This was from the store. Come on in here. I want to show you something because with store-bought fish, you have to be a little careful. They don't always get all the bones. So you'll be able to see where the cuts occurred that they took these bones out. And if you just run, make sure your hands are nice and clean. But if you just run, there we go, your finger up the side, you will be able to feel the bones. Now, you might need a pair of tweezers to get some of them out. This guy's not coming out, so we'll do some tweezers on him. But you can run your finger up where they made the, the cut to get the bone out. You'll feel it. It'll just poke you. It won't hurt or anything, folks. But you'll feel it in there. All right. This one's not too bad, actually. Um, I'm going to deal with this. I'll be right back with you. All right, now that that's dealt with, and I was I was impressed. They're, normally they're not they're not as meticulous as that I've found, but anyway, the bones are out. We're good to go. It's time to get the marinade on. So let me tell you what we're going to be putting in it: salt and pepper, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire. This one. This is some um, freshly squeezed lemon and orange juice. Quantity, totally up to you. Again, this isn't a fine science recipe. We're just throwing this marinade together. And remember in the rib video, I took you guys out in the backyard where I topped one of my maple trees. So this is pure Canadian made maple syrup from that tree that was tapped. Been collecting the sap for about a week, boiled it all down and well, that's how much you get left left with. Let's get this marinade put together. Roll the time lapse. All right, that's it. It's time to cover this, throw it in the fridge, and we'll check back in tomorrow. Until then, sleep well. Beauty. Smells good. When you take it out of the marinade, you don't want this thing dripping wet when it goes on the barbecue. Any additional moisture on the outside just creates uneven cooking sometimes. So I'm just going to pat it dry a little bit on this paper towel and then we'll get out there to the barbecue. The process for the smoke today is that we will be aiming for 225 degrees on the Weber Smoky Mountain. I'm going to be using maple wood thanks to my friend Greg for donating, donating a little bit to my smoking efforts. But something that's bothering me a little bit today folks, I mean it started out with this beautiful 16-17 degrees Celsius weather, now we're down to something like 2 degrees Celsius and it's really windy. 
It is very hard to maintain temperatures on a charcoal barbecue and charcoal smoker when it's very windy. So I've created a little makeshift windscreen. Time-wise, we're aiming for about two to two and a half hours, aiming for, I think it's 165 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Scratch that. 158 degrees Fahrenheit is what we'll be aiming for in the thickest part of the fish. Yeah, two hours, two and a half hours tops. I'm going to spritz it at the one hour mark and probably the hour and 45 minute mark with some of the maple syrup that you saw me using yesterday for the marinade. And I think that at the low temperature should create a nice glaze. And remember folks, we're not making a meal here. The intention is an appetizer. You can slice this up into three even pieces, take it out of the fridge when it's time to eat and have it with some cheese and crackers. All right, everybody, we're just just coming up to 200. It's pretty windy and I'm finding it really hard to get the temp to come up, which is weird. Normally it's the other way around, but you can see I have my makeshift windshield put up. That's high tech right there. I don't want to wait much longer. I'm going to get this on. I can fiddle around with the vents. We're close enough in temp anyway, 200 to 225. So I'm going to throw this on and we'll check in with you shortly. All right. Come on. Little bit there. Good. Whoops. It'll be all right. Hey there, fam jam. Checking in on the smoked rainbow trout. Holding 250 which is not what I wanted. I wanted to be down around 225, but with this wind, I've shut down the vents. They're almost completely shut, and I just can't get that temperature down, but it just means the cook will be done a little quicker. That's barbecue, right? Let's have a little viewing and do a little maple syrup spritz. Look at that. Fat's melting out. That'll be good. Oh yeah, delicious, 100% pure homemade maple syrup, see you in a bit. Oh hello, I didn't see you there. Well, the temp's been up and down like a yo-yo for the last two hours and 10 minutes because the wind picks up and then the wind dies so you know it can't win but I brought the thermometer out on my last check we are just over 158 it looks delicious final viewing and it's coming off and we're going inside come on in and check this out delicious all right time to get her off I'll see you back in the house The grand reveal it looks delicious it smells really good it doesn't look like it dried out too much sometimes uh, fish can get a little dry when you are smoking it low and slow I'm going to guess that the spritz helped and this one was a little bit fatty maybe because it was store-bought I'm not hundred percent sure but as that started cooking out I'm sure the, the juices from the fat helped keep it nice and moist now as I said before, this is an appetizer recipe. Two to two and a half hours, 225 on the smoker, marinated overnight. I'm likely going to cut it about here. I'm going to vacuum seal them. I'm gonna throw them in the freezer. And believe it or not, when they're sitting in the freezer in the vacuum seal, they will actually pull in some of the moisture that's sitting on the surface. When I take these out and let them thaw, 
when you have them as an appetizer, they will flake away very nicely, giving you nice sized pieces that you can throw in a cracker with some brie or maybe a smoked gouda, something like that. It's gonna be great. At any rate, folks, maple smoked maple rainbow trout. Now you can give it a shot too. Should I have a little taste test? I should probably have a little taste test. Okay, come on here for a sec. Let's just, just commit a little sin and just take a little corner piece off, okay? Here we go. All right, moment of truth. Mm-hmm. That's great. Actually, the lemon juice from the marinade gave it just a just a hint of a tang. That was awesome. Okay, I'm gonna cut this, vacuum seal it, and at some point in time during the quarantine, we'll probably have a delicious happy with crackers and cheese. In the meantime, folks, just because you're locked inside or on your own property doesn't mean you can't get out there into the backyard and cook up some delicious food. So stay safe out there, folks, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, and by the way, don't tell my parents I was smoking in the backyard. <laughs> See you next time. And I'm going to spritz it at the one hour mark and maybe the one hour and 40. Right.